What is going on my YouTube friends? Hope everybody's having a great day today. So anyhow, I come back out in the garage this morning, took the wife to work, uh, got some errands, waiting for a phone call to go do my errands for her. So I come out in the garage and started working on the Fairmont. So I figured that there's a couple things I needed to get done and smooth them out. Um, and I figure I would try to test fit this K member to the car before I go any further. That way I know what I gotta do before I put the thing in prime and paint. You know what I mean? So uh, let's turn around here and I'll show you what I had to do and then we'll do the test fit. All right, so when I'm up here and I'm cleaning everything off, and that, see every boy, it sure does look good, don't it? I mean, it's cool when you can see the date codes and the part numbers and stuff in these things, you know? After this car is what, 1980? Hoo hoo! So I cleaned up some of that, some of that. So when I was cleaning up, I found there was a big old lip on here. So I went ahead and smoothed that out and got this smoothed out. And uh, did the same down here, got that all smoothed out. Then I'm thinking to myself, you know, probably be a good idea right now to test fit this K member so that way we can uh, find out if there's anything else I got to do, man, before I prime it up, you know, any more welding or anything like that. So let me uh, get this thing test fitted on there and I'll be right back. Hey, instead of me being right back after I put it on, let me show you what I'm putting on first. <laughs> so yeah, so like I said, pretty much everything's Team Z. So this is what uh, the K member I got. And it's for the, you know, the small block Ford. So if I do go with the 7.3, I'm gonna have to buy a different K member, but I'm sure it's Fox body, so everything should be the same. But as of right now, I'm still going with the Windsor, but I'm still thinking about that 7.3. So. Okay, um, let me get this thing set on. I'm here by myself, so I don't have nobody to film me or nothing like that. So let me set this on there, and then we'll be right back. All right, so as always, when you put aftermarket parts on a car, <clears throat> excuse me, there's always going to be something. Yeah, I don't care what it is. There's always going to be something. So basically, I got this set up on here, so I don't have it really bolted down, but I do. I can push it down, and I can hold it tight. And if you can see... There's a gap right there. So I'm, one or two things are gonna have to happen. Either I'm gonna have to shim this, which will probably be part of it. And then, what, where am I at here? There is a, it's going over the frame right here. So where this goes, I'll find it here. Right here, there's a lip. So this is kind of hitting that lip. So there's a gap right here. So I'm gonna to have to kind of mess this with this right here to make this so I get this flush. And I had the same exact thing down here. So as you can see, this is going over that line right there. You see that? So it's kind of hanging over that. So I'm getting the same, actually a smaller gap over here. Well, maybe not. So you got the gap here and you got the gap right here. So that's going to have to be trimmed up because as you see, this right here isn't fitting solid right there against the frame. So we're going to have to work on that right there a little bit, which ain't much. So hopefully we can trim that up and uh, she'll be okay. So everything's welded good, you know, through here and everything right here. So I should be able to shave a little bit of this off right here with no problem. So like I said, I wanted to put this on there and kind of have a little bit of a uh, reassurance of what I had to do before I did it. You know what I mean? Kind of like measure twice, cut once. You know what I mean? So I just figured I'd give you a little show of what's going on here and what I'm gonna have to do to resolve the fitment problem. But hey man, don't that kind of get you a little excited to see the cross move around here? Let me back up here a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Huh? That's nice. So, we're going to get this, and I'm going to trim that up a little bit, and then we'll put it back on, and then we'll see. So, let me bring you back. All right, so I got that back off, and as you can see right here, we can't see very well. But anyhow, there's a line that I made right here. To cut this out. See, 
this is what's causing that big gap right here. So I'm gonna knock this down and then we'll see what happens. And then you see right here, get this light on here. It's the same thing. So I need to clean this up right here too. So I got it marked. So we're gonna clean that up and then we'll test fit it again and see what it is. So I will bring you back. So I come over here and I went ahead and ground that big booger off right there. So we're gonna see if this works a little bit better. I didn't cut any of this yet. I just wanted to grind this down and see if that makes any difference. And I did the same thing on this tie too. So I ground that burger off on that too. So let's see what kind of fit we get now. Let me uh, get this back up here and uh, I'll bring you right All back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so anyhow, I went ahead and I did both sides. I pushed this up here. So there's very, very little gap there. So I, you know, like I said, it's not tightened down now, but I still think I'm gonna trim this up a little bit here, a little bit better. Once I get that, oops, I'm sorry. Once I get this trimmed up, then it should be flush. And then again, on the top, the gap's not as big as it was. So I am going to, again, I'm gonna finish trimming this up right here, and then we'll bring it back and see where we're at. But, you know, like I says, is that I don't have it bolted down, but that bottom one is pretty much flush. I'm still gonna trim a little bit off there to make it flush. And then the top one, I'm gonna do the same because I think that's where the booger's at. So that booger will be right here. And that's that. So let me uh, see what we can do here to get this fixed and straightened out. Yeah, buddy. Let me bring right, it before back. I cut this off. See, this is where I'm at on this. You see that black line there? So I need to get this and trim this up right here because that's where the problem is laying on that because it's kind of like in that curve. So once I get this trimmed off, it should lay that flat on this. This side right here, so get over here so I can see exactly what's going on here. I just think I need just to trim this down some. I don't think it really has to be cut off. I don't want to cut that much off. So I think once I get this trimmed down right here a little bit, then this side will be completely flush, which it's real close now. So I don't want to shim this if I don't have to, but we got to do what we got to do, right? So um, I'm going to clean this up a little better and I'm going to trim that up on top. So once I get that done and finished, I'll bring you back. I'm back. Anyhow. So, like I said, I cleaned this up, and I also smoothed these out because these were kind of like nippled, you know, a little bit, so I smoothed them out good. And then I got this right here. I'm pretty sure we're good. I'm pretty sure we're good. There's, this little lip right here might be a problem still, so we'll check it out if it is, and I'll go ahead and cut that off, which I probably should do now, but I'm just trying to cut off as least as possible. And then down here at the bottom, I did the same thing with the nipples on these. I know they were kind of protruding out a little bit. And then we got this right here nice and flat now. So hopefully this side will be good. Hopefully this side will be good too. Just I'm just worried about that nipple right there. So, all right, let me get this set up here and I'll be right back. All right, with the miracle of video, I'm back. <laughs> so anyhow, I still got a pretty good gap here. And I'm, I'm flush. So I'm going to end up having to put a, well, just right here I am. Down here is flush. So I'm good here and I got a gap here. So and once I tighten it down and torque it down, it might be different, but I still feel I'm gonna have to put a little shim right here, which is not a big deal. And this right here, man, it's flat as it's gonna get. You know what I'm saying? So we're good. I believe we're good. I don't believe I have to take any more off. And the little nipple on top right here is way back here, so I don't have to worry about that. But I am going to go ahead and get the guy across the street, Troy, and let him go ahead and zap a little weld in here for me. So that way we're, we know this is all going to be good. So I'm glad I did a test fit on this thing. That way now I know when we put her on, we're going to be good as go, buddy. Yeah, so yeah, this is right here is good. It's the bottom one. 
So this right here is probably pushed up a little bit maybe because this hit took a good hit at one time. So we'll see, but I may have to put a little shim in there. I mean, I could make it flat, you know, but then I got a gap up here. But once I tighten it down though, it'll be different. So before I put any shims or anything in it, I'll tighten it down and make sure everything's square. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll go from there. So let me turn around here and I'll be right back. I'm back. <laughs> so anyhow, I ground that down. And like I said, we had Troy across the street. See if he'll come over here and do a couple tack welds for me on this to make sure everything stays good. And then uh, we'll go from there. And I'm gonna mark it first before I do anything. Before I take this back off, I'll mark it so that way I know none of the tack welds or anything will interfere with it. And then we'll go from there. I really need to start learning how to weld. I really do need to invest in a welder and start welding. I got a little Craftman one, but I need, uh, you know, you gotta have, I guess it's good to practice with. It was my father-in-law's and we was using it on that 26.4 of his, um, but ain't nobody gonna use it or anything. So it's still here in the garage. So maybe I'll practice with that. <laughs> that should ought to make some good videos. <laughs> Don't make fun of my welding. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, I appreciate each and every one of you for coming by and looking to see what's going on in Mr. Mach 1's garage. Um, you know, like and subscribe. You know, they say you ought to say it at the beginning of the video, but I don't ever think about it because, you know what, I got such great subscribers, man, and they put the word out for me. So, guys, thank you. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll be back with some more crazy videos, but we're working on the Fairmont. We're going to get this thing done. Yeah, baby.